हाई एवरी वन लेट्स सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज गेट नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन क्वेश्चन ओके सो दिस इज अब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन नाउ अट इज गेट एग्जाम इज ऑब्जेक्टिव बट ओके एट दैट टाइम इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन गेट एग्जाम वो सब्जेक्टिव एग्जाम सो यू कैन नोट दिस इज अब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन ही इज आस्किंग दैट डिजाइन अ पैरल इन सीरियल आउट शिफ्ट रजिस्टर ओके सो दिस इज वॉट वी नीड टू जनरेट दिस इज वॉट वी नीड टू डिजाइन पैरल इन सीरियल आउट ओके सो द इनपुट okay if you want to insert the data inside the register then you should do it in parallel manner okay so parallel in serial out okay so we can insert the data in the register in a parallel manner and but but we can read the data only in serial manner so you can notice parallel in serial out basically this type of uh, i can say that what the question is asking okay so this the question is asking parallel input serial output this type of register we need to create okay so this type of register we need to design okay this type of register we need to design where you have uh, basically three bit register we need to design abc okay now the question is saying that you should be able if you want to put the data if you want to store the data in this register then that should be done in parallel manner so i can say this is your parallel in okay so you should be able to put insert the data in a parallel manner but you can notice parallel in serial out means you can read the data only in serial manner okay so the data you can only read in a serial manner so this is your serial out okay so this type of register we need to create and actually we have already created this okay so if you watch the register lectures okay you can watch many different type of registers we have created we have designed many different type of registers i told you that in the subjective exam if there is any subjective exam then what they will do they will give you register specification they will tell you that okay design this register some properties will be given to you okay some uh, face, some functionalities will will be given to you and they will ask you to design the register okay so you can note this is a same question in this question the design they are asking us to design a shift register which has this property that parallel input if you want to store the data inside this register you can do this in parallel but you can read the data okay from this register only in serial manner okay so this type of register we need we need to create using d flip flop okay so we need, we basically we need 3 d flip flop because we need to create a 3 bit data register 3 bit uh, register we need to create okay 3 bit register you can notice okay and you can notice the shift that uh, this is shifting the data from left to right so this is a right shift actually i can say that basically this means that you need something called right shift register you need okay so the question is asking us to create a right shift register okay and there should be a clock you know that in a actually in a register every flip flop they have the same clock basically okay all these three uh, flip flop they will share the same common okay uh, clock okay and you have something called shift input and there is a control input okay what is this control input used so let me tell you okay so first let's design this parallel input serial output so what we need so this is our okay this is the idea so you have three flip flop okay so let's create three flip flop now now okay once you have created this flip flop now you can notice that so this is your i can say this is d a q a and this is d b q b and this is d c q c okay now the question is saying that you should you should be able to put the data in parallel so what i can do very simple okay so the data i can put in parallel so what i can do i can say a b c okay so if you want to store the data then very simple what you can do for example if you want to store this data then you can put like this okay so you can notice this is parallel in so we can insert the data we can load the data inside this uh, register in a parallel manner and there is a clock you know that the same clock is applicable to all the flip flop in a register in a register remember that all the flip flop they share the same clock okay so this is your clock let us assume this clock is positive as triggered that doesn't matter okay this clock can be positive as triggered so, uh, sorry actually uh, sorry for that clock is never positive as triggered or negative as triggered actually flip flops are positive as negative as triggered so actually i should say that this flip flop they can be either positive as triggered or they can be negative as triggered remember clock is clock is a clock okay clock is neither uh, positive as triggered nor okay so clock is very simple concept this is a clock okay clock this is clock so for clock we cannot say the uh, for clock we cannot say that this is positive as or negative as triggered flip flop is positive as or negative as triggered so this triggering is a property of flip flop remember okay so you can notice this is your flip flop now what i am saying i am saying that this flip flop is positive as or negative as triggered i can say this can be for example i can say this can be positive as triggered or or maybe or maybe this is negative as triggered or 
or this can be level triggered okay so this can be positive level triggered or this can be negative level triggered okay so anyway you can notice this triggering this is a property of flip flop this is not a property of clock okay so you should not say that a clock is positive as triggered you should not say that clock is negative as triggered we should say that these flip flop are positive as triggered or negative as triggered anyway the point is that this is the common clock in a register all the flip flop they share the common clock okay now so you can notice this is fine this we have done okay we have also done this three parallel data inputs we have also done this these are the three data okay parallel inputs okay what else we need so parallel input serial output so you can notice this is fine okay so far everything is fine so this is your parallel input okay and this is your clock now what we need we want okay we want serial out so if you want to read the data from the register then you should do only in a serial manner okay so this is your qc so from here you will read the data from here you will read the data now how to design this very simple you can notice that okay now okay how to do this connection this is the problem here how to do this connection see we have done the parallel input now these a b c these are in parallel so if you want to store the data inside this register very easily you can do in the parallel manner so this parallel in this is okay parallel in this this is fine okay so this parallel in we have done this parallel in this we have done now how to do this okay so this parallel in this we have done okay now this is the question how to do this serial out okay so basically we want to read the data if you want to read the data that is stored in this register then you should do it in the serial manner okay now how to make this connection how to make this connection that is the question okay so for that for that we can use this input this input is given to you load shift bar okay so this input is given to you what this input means let me tell you so this input is actually okay so we use so basically we use this input okay which is load shift bar okay we use this input okay so in short let me write it in short okay in short let me write it i will write it like this okay so remember this is load shift bar okay what it means now this is the meaning let me tell you that if this input is zero then we will shift okay then then basically you shift okay shift right because we want to do right shift okay in the question he is saying that you should do right shift okay so now i am saying that if this input is zero then you do right shift okay but if this input is one but if this input is one then you load the data then you parallel load the data okay so this is the point okay so using this input using this this is your control input i can say okay so this is the control input using this con using this input i can control whether i want to load the data or whether i want to read the data so i can say basically if this is one if this is one then basically insert the data insert parallelly okay you insert the data okay and if this is zero if this is zero if this is zero then basically what you do you basically read the data i can say okay you you read the data read the data in serial manner read the data in serial manner okay. so this is the point okay so what we can do in this picture all we have to do just we have to use this this input so this input we have to use in this picture now how to do how to use this this uh, in this picture so let me tell you we can use multiplexer what we can do we can use multiplexer so this is what i am going to do you notice okay so very simple point you notice this so we we can use multiplexer here okay what we can do so this multiplexer we can use here okay so to uh, now 2 by 1 multiplexer we can use and we have this input okay so this is the control input you can notice okay so this is your l s bar this is the control input okay so your control input is l s bar this is the control input okay now you can notice or let me write it here let me write it here this is l s bar okay now what i am saying i am saying that if this l is equal to 1 then you should load the data okay so you cannot this is a multiplexer remember this is a multiplexer 0 1 0 so this is a multiplexer okay now i am saying that when this is 1 then what should happen when this is 1 then what should happen okay so let's see if this is 1 if the, if this is equal to 1 if this is equal to 1 then we should load the data we should load the data so if this is 1 then you can notice this input so here i can put the okay the data a okay and here i can put d b and here i can put c 
so you can notice that if this is one if this is one then you can notice this will be connected here this will be connected here and this will be connected here okay so what i am saying is this okay what i am saying is this okay so very simple this is what i am saying okay so this now you can notice if this input if this control input if this control input is one now you can very easily notice that whenever this control input will be one then we are basically doing the parallel loading okay so because then this a will be connecting to this da and this b will be connecting to db and then this c will be connecting to dc okay so okay when this is one then i can say that we are doing the parallel loading so you can notice that if this is equal to one then we do parallel load so basically we are loading the data in parallel okay so we are doing the parallel loading now let us see if this is zero then what should happen okay so this is fine this we have already done that this is connected to a this is connected to b this is connected to c that is fine okay that is very good there is no problem here now let's see the next point okay let's see the next point if this is zero then what should happen if this is zero now okay if this is zero then what should happen now if this is zero then you can notice that we should do shift uh shift right yes or no so we should do shift right if this is zero then shift right should happen if this is zero i can say if this is zero then we should do shift right then right shift should happen and right shift means what right shift means what i can say that this qa must be connected to db okay so this qa this must be connected to db so i can say that here this qa must be connected to db okay so when this is zero then this qa must be connected to db this qb must be connected to dc okay so and also this is your okay i can say um, okay so this must be connected to this this must be connected to this okay so you can notice all the properties and there is a serial input there is a serial input so i can put the serial input here this is your serial input okay so i can put it here so this is the simple design you can notice okay so if l s bar g, uh, equal to zero then you will do right shift okay so anyway this is the final design that you will get so this is your final design okay so this is the this is the circuit that they wanted okay so this is your final answer okay so because you can notice in this you can very easily notice that whenever this is zero then you will do whenever this is one then you will do parallel loading and when this is zero then you are doing the right shift okay and this is serial input this is the serial input so all the things we have done we have put serial input we have put uh, parallel loading and we have put a serial output okay so all these things we have done we have done this we have done this all these things we have done so this is the answer for gate 1991 okay remember this is the answer okay okay